Hello friends, here we go for the last one of this series, and just as promised, let's add the final touch, that is, renaming a record. For this one we'll be using an alert dialog like we did in the last one, except that we would be using a custom layout instead of the default one. We could have done it inside a bottom sheet as we did when saving a record in the first time, but for the sake of learning, let's see how to customize an alert dialog. To do so, let's start by copying the bottom sheet, which we have in rest layout, bottom sheet, copy, then paste it here and name it, rename layout. Here we have an input, a title and two buttons. First of all, we should rename the save record to rename record. Just at the top here, rename. Then we should switch the ID of the main layout from bottom sheet to rename layout. And the OK button should become save here and here and the final touch is to change the margin bottom here from 80 to 20. Now we can jump back to the gather activity. First of all we need to create a click listener on the rename button at the bottom of the on create just here call button rename set on click listener and inside of it we should as we did before create a builder builder equals alert dialog dot builder and give it the context now it gets interesting we will be using a custom dialog so let's first fetch it val dialog view equals this dot layout inflator which has an inflate method that needs the resource r dot layout this time dot rename layout and the second argument is the root element which is null for this one we can now apply the view to the builder like this builder dot set view dialog view now let's create the actual dialog dialog equals builder dot create at the end actually it's dialog and it's dialog and at the end we should show our dialog but in between we'll be needing the record the selected record so let's create a variable call it record and filter the records the filter method it dot is checked and because it's the only one otherwise we couldn't be able to click the button rename we can get it at the first position now we'll be needing the text input that we have here so let's first create a text input variable and use the dialog view to find our child view we need to specify the type it's a text input edit text then the id r.id.filename dot dot file name or file name input with this line we're looking inside the dialog view and looking for a text input edit text with this id now we need to set the text input default value to the records file name as follows text input dot set text and record dot file name we have too many parentheses here now we can set some listeners on our buttons but since it's a custom layout we can't use the set negative and set positive buttons we need to fetch the buttons or find them inside the dialog view as follows dialog view dot find view by id again specify the type it's button and the id r dot id 
dot button save finally we can set a click listener just here now copy paste this for the cancel button yep and now we can start with this one by dismissing the dialog when the cancel button is clicked with dialog dot dismiss let's jump back to the save button inside here we first need to fetch the input val input equals text input dot text to string then if the input is empty show a message otherwise make the update so if input is empty then let's show a small toast toast dot make text give it the context then give it the message a name is required and finally the duration toast dot length long and show it now if the input isn't empty then we should first update the record file name record file name equals input then we should update the db as usual inside the global scope and call the db dot record dao and this time would be calling the update method which takes a record a record that we updated here now we should also update the recycler view inside the ui thread and this time call the adapter and notify item changed and give it the position we don't have the position but we can get it from records so we have our records here long click edit we have our name let's remove everything here save and our record is saved but we forgot to dismiss the dialog view after that so let's handle it inside the run on ui thread first call dialog dismiss then leave the here we go again select this one edit audio record named save we have our audio record name renamed but something is wrong here with this one a few moments later so after some brain twisting the problem seemed to be related to the leave edit mode if you call the state hidden it will act as it did if you call the state collapse it will just jump at the bottom of the screen but it won't disappear so we need to call both of them first state hidden and state collapse Let's find our file here, rename it to record rename, save, et voila. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed following this series as much as I did making it. And you can find the whole app code on GitHub in the first comment on this video. So see you on another one. And until then, take care.